my face, I expect that. Choose up, Lil John, I'm finna pack him. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in the coop, smoking cat piss. Lil bitch, shut the fuck up, tell your best friend. Shut the fuck up, hey. Lil bitch, shut the fuck up, tell your best friend. Shut the fuck up, hey. You know I love it when you got dirty. Messy, you my orange sort of shorty. You act like a lil me, I wanna. You want me drop a band on some cute shoes You want me be the man you can fit to You let me beat it up, you let me practice Now I'm finna lay you on a mattress Bitch sit on my face, I attack that Choose up, Lil John, I'm finna pack him When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active Dirt ball in the coupe, smoking cat piss Lil bitch, shut the fuck up Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up Hey, Lil bitch, shut the fuck up Tell your best friend you guys so i'm actually getting ready to head to the gym i feel like i haven't really been to the gym in so long i've been really focusing on like programming these at-home workouts for when classes start back this spring you know what i'm saying so oh i was like why is he child my dogs be doing the most because right now i'm actually in a cut meaning i'm not trying to really put on too much muscle right now because i'm already a thick girl when i start putting on muscle before losing the fat first i get i still remain i still look feminine i don't look strong ladies you do not look strong by weight training too much but i do look like a little bit like bulkier everything looks good but i like to i want to just be a smaller size child I'm trying to get back down it's to a size 10, 10, 8, 18, you know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so I'm not looking to be too skinny. My real goal weight is really only like 165 pounds. So it's not really like I'm one, I think I'm like close to 190 now or just above 190 now. So about 30 or so pounds for me to lose. And that is the goal, we gonna do that. So I'm going to drop the fat first. And then afterwards, I can get back into really weightlifting because I love, 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 love weightlifting so much. <laughs> if like for really for a while, it was hard for me to really get back into cardio. Like I did a lot of cardio during the pandemic because you know we was at home. I didn't have that much equipment at home. But as soon as the gyms had opened back up, man, I was in there all the time. <laughs> all the time and that's how i got to be like really curvy but really like filled out and thick and i loved it but i also wanted to be like a little bit lean in certain areas so that's still how i'm programming everything to flow this time around for these next 30 pounds that i'm trying to get off focus on endurance um more so than anything right now so yeah i just wanted to hop on here and I invite you guys to come with me to the gym. Um, I'm about to finish my little protein coffee, which is my really my go-to pre-workout. Like it's really honestly just a protein shake and some coffee. I keep my things simple, honey. <laughs> but I do have my other like fave drinks and everything like that, but neither here nor there. I'm finishing my coffee and we're going to the gym. So I will see you guys there. All right, y'all, so of course, we're going to get started by doing a nice full body warm up. Y'all, it is so important that you get the body warmed up, especially before lifting any kind of weights. It's like having a really stiff hairband and then one getting around a really big ponytail. Like, it's just not gonna work. You need to get the body warmed up, get the muscles loose. That way, when you go in to do certain squats or certain other moves, your body is able to, you know, go through the full motion. want to give yourself about five or ten minutes to really have an effective warm-up so what I do is I choose about four or five different um, combination moves I love combination moves y'all because you get to activate multiple muscle groups at the same time you really get to get your body moving in different directions because your body moves in certain different planes of motion so going and doing different rotating moves and different squats and the walkouts 
it helps your body get prepared to do basically any possible combination of moves that you're going to be doing during your workout. This first move is going to be a double squat to overhead press. So great full body motion. For this one, you're looking for alignment points. So hips and knees and toes. That's the goal, keeping your hips and knees and toes aligned. If your knees happen to go off to the side slightly, that is normal, that is fine. Just keep going through the motion. Now right here, I'm gonna show you how you can grow that booty without having to put a whole lot of weight. So tempo, y'all change the tempo. Going slower, putting a lot of tension on the muscle. Look, I'm done. <laughs> he walked in front of me so many times, y'all. Like, I don't know, cause I, I was there for a while. He knew I was recording. He had to, look at this. Like, he knew, he knew, neither here nor there, but yeah. Going slow into the squat puts a lot of tension on your muscles and tension is what builds the booty. Now everybody wants the appearance of having a snatch waist. Y'all train your back. When your back is strong, it cinches in your core and it makes your waist look smaller. It makes the booty look bigger. It makes you look good. It gives you the body everybody out here is trying to pay for. It. So add back workouts into your routines. Now this move is targeting the bat wings, it's getting the core tight, it's getting the core strong. Now to modify it, just go down on one knee so you will have one hand on the ground, the same side leg is going to be on the ground as well, and then you would just alternate on both sides. Yeah, I'll be over there, shout it, I'll be over there, I'll be hitting all the spots that you ain't even know it's there. <laughs> and y'all don't even have to ask. When y'all do this workout, by the time y'all get to this point, y'all gonna hate me. But this move is amazing. When I tell you, like, it hits your core in so many different directions. So take your time, breathe through it, like, pace yourself through it. But y'all just try it out because it's, it's a real burner. But try it out. Right. 
So today I was feeling a little spicy with this finisher. So what I'm doing right now are some lateral steps with some resistance bands. Y'all, after the workout I did earlier, this was a killer. But I did each move for one minute. And trust me, you just do that and that is enough. Trust me. Modify this move, you can take the bands off and then kind of just go through each motion, getting down to the floor and then taking two steps out to the side. But that side step is really good for the outer hips. If you want nice round hips or if you have hip dips, doing that kind of move is great for that. So for this move, I want to point out a very important form tip. So for the bands on my hands, I'm focusing on my triceps. I'm only pressing out from my elbows out. Don't swing your entire arm back. That's focusing on your back. We hitting core and booty, core, core and booty. So yeah, love this move as well. To modify it, of course, you can always slow down with the steps. I'm just turning, that way you guys can see how deep you can get into the lunge and focusing on having nice angles with your legs. But yeah, y'all, you see me over here tripping up. This move is killer after your workout. But yeah, y'all, that is it. So I didn't show everything, but I did about three rounds of my initial dumbbell workout. And then of course the finisher was just for one minute of each move. But now it's time to cool it down. You are like the oxygen I need to survive 